Hey guys, Rob from the Off Grid Tiny House. <clears throat> Another video today. We're going to be doing some uh, uh, Rick Simpson oil. And uh, make sure you have some disposable gloves to wear uh, while doing this process. Um, the glass jar you see there in the video has been soaking in the fridge. Wow. The contents have been soaking in that glass jar in the fridge for over a week um, in pure ethanol and I'm just going to strain it off now finally <clears throat> using a muslin strainer bag and uh, you can keep it in the fridge um, or just keep it out but if you do keep it out at room temperature, guys, just make sure you have a good proper seal on the top of the glass jar because <clears throat> you will have evaporation going on and you really don't want that happening. So it's kind of best to leave it in a cool environment like a fridge. <clears throat> so just be careful to get all the liquid out here first before all the material starts to rush down and into the screen screen bag just take your time no big deal now unfortunately I'm doing this on the floor and uh, <laughs> not very professionally shot or done but it is what it is and then just carefully take the bag off of the glass jar and begin to slowly <clears throat> squeeze and twist the bag that will force all the medicine out of the plant material and into your container in this case we have just a just a pan stainless steel pan And I'm pretty good at this. Not a drop made it onto the rug, so <laughs> getting pretty well. Pretty pretty good at this stuff. <clears throat> this is what they call um, <clears throat> the green dragon. Um, it's got like a greenish hue to it. And in this video, guys, I'm gonna show you exactly how to remove the green color from your <clears throat> solvent medicine and uh, you know the first step here is obviously get it prepared like I'm doing now <clears throat> and once I squeeze the heck out of this thing as much as I can till your wrists and fingers and hands hurt basically um, that ensures you're getting all that Good medicine out of there and where you want it to go uh, then we will discard what's left in the uh, muslin bag the screen bag that I'm squeezing here you totally discard it it's useless um, the solvent has stripped everything from every, all the medicinal properties from the plant material so it is now in the liquid <clears throat> in the new pan container there and then I'm going to carefully transfer that pan back into that glass container, but um, <clears throat> I'm going to give that container a quick wash out because there is some, as you can see on the back of the sides of the wall of the glass container, there's some plant material stuck to the sides and edges and in there. <clears throat> so once I do that, I will re-pour carefully the pan into that glass container and show you how we get rid of the greenish hue from your medicine and turn it into a golden amber color which uh, Rick Simpson calls Phoenix Tears which is the medicine you can kind of see a slight slight bit of green there as I uh, <clears throat> tipped it a little bit it's actually fairly clean already um, it's almost got its amber hue already in this case which is kind of nice 
So just carefully pouring back into a glass container. I definitely do not recommend using any type of plastic because <clears throat> this is ethanol. It's a solvent and leaching can occur with anything but glass. So make sure you're using as much glass materials or containers as possible, guys. All right, so we got it transferred, and then I'm gonna take it outside and I kind of explain how that process works. Um, it's fairly simple. So there we go, transferred in, and let's take this outside. All right, so we're outside. <clears throat> I just have it set on <clears throat> the barbecue with a rock firmly planted on the cap to stop any pressure buildup from evaporation. And you want to leave it out in the sunlight for one hour, guys. So that's basically it. It will get rid of the chlorophyll, which is the green color in your medicine. And uh, you'll be left with the amber color in what you want. So hopefully you enjoyed. I'm going to be making a lot more of these videos shortly. So stay tuned. Subscribe, like, and share. And uh, Enjoy making your Rick Simpson oil medicine. Phoenix Tears.